Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Free Minds back again with another review video. Um, as I said, I'm taking a break on these optics, so I decided to go on the undermount side of things and decide to try out a nice little laser light combination or something to put on my Hellcat. Um, this right here is the Olight Balder Mini, um, 600 lumens, and has a red laser built into it. Um, says it's pretty cut and dry for the installation. I haven't really given it much of a look yet. Let's take it out the box here. Nice little package and you open it up. There's a little pull out tab. Pull, up. pull it out. Take the cover off. Um, looks like it's some the book and some screws and stuff taped to the inside here, which is good. I guess you don't have to worry about it come flying out when you open it. This looks like the charger. It's a rechargeable light. It does not have a battery that you have to change, I'm assuming. And then on the underside, we have the actual light itself. It has a little bit of weight to it. I mean, it's not like anything crazy, but, you know, for something like the Hellcat, I think it'll be good because, you know, Hellcats can be somewhat snappy, but, um, you know, this could be a decent counterweight. Um, not exactly sure um, how it would actually hold up, you know, that in that regard, it would make much of a difference, but just theoretically speaking, um, it comes with different adapters. This right now has the GL rail adapter. Um, I may need to change that to put the other adapter in to fit onto the Hellcat, but I'm going to go ahead and get this installed and I'll be right back. All right. And we are done. Um, it was a pretty simple install. I thought I was gonna have to change the rail adapter out, but apparently not. Um, and just, you know, so we're, so we're clear, nothing here, nothing here. We're good. Um, it has three different functions on it. You know, the, the light laser and, uh, combo or the light or laser individually. I went with the red laser because I feel like I would probably pick up red better than green. Um, I know, you know, it depends on people's eyes and how that works, but I'm comfortable with red. So I went with red. Um, I like the added little bit of weight that it adds to the front. Um, it may help with, you know, a little bit of recoil. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, only thing I'm not thrilled about is I'm now going to have to go find another holster to that will accommodate both of these things. Um, I'm going to go zero the laser. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys, you know, what it looks like with the brightness and the laser at a distance. So we'll be able to check all that out. So I'm going to do that and we'll be right back. All right. So as you can see, I am in a completely dark room. Throw this light on. It completely illuminates the room, um, which is pretty impressive. You know, I mean, it says 600 lumens. I did see one that was for 800 after I bought this one. I was just like, all right, whatever. But, um, you know, the 600 lumens, it seems like it's pretty decent. Um, it's very bright. You can't not notice the difference in light. And I do think, you know, if you were to aim this at somebody, if you had to, it would definitely disorient them effectively. Um, let's see if we can switch to the laser. All right, we are back to fully dark. And here's the combination. I don't know if you can see the laser. It's right there in the middle of the, you know, the brightest part of the light but it may not pick up very well in the camera, but I can see it and that's really all that matters. And then, you know, obviously the last option is just a simple laser, fully dark room again. And here's the laser shows up very clear and very brightly. All right. So all in all, I would say I definitely recommend this product um, in terms of the product itself. I'm not sure how many options and holster manufacturers have this particular brand of light that's available that, you know, you can get a holster that, you know, that's light bearing with this particular model. If there are no holster manufacturers that I can go to that can make a, a holster to work with this, this model gun and the light, then that would maybe change my opinion on it. But I really like it because it, you know, how I have it mounted, it doesn't come past the actual, you know, end of the end of the actual barrel of the gun. So I think all in all, I think it's good, especially for the price point. It was only like 120 bucks. 
Um, and I'm thoroughly impressed with it. You know, I'm, I'm going to take it to the range one of these days and make sure that it can withstand, you know, not fly off the bottom of the gun, which I don't expect it to, but um, make sure that the laser and the light and everything can stay lit through the actual, I guess, uh, impact of the recoil of the gun. Uh, I expect those things to work, but if not, then I'll, prob I'll provide an update. Um, but that's it for this video. Until next time, y'all be cool. Y'all be safe.